Hello there Capricorns, welcome to your weekly reading. So I'm going to talk about your love life first. Um, I feel like for many of you, uh, you're already in a relationship. And this is a week where the relationship is going to deepen and strengthen through your understanding, your breadth of vision. And I feel like you're looking at your partner from with like a, a little bit of a bird's eye view so that you can truly understand where your partner has been, all the things that they have endured or they have gone through and why they are the person that they are right now. So you're reaching a state of deeper understanding and appreciation for your partner. And in particular, I feel like, you know, how determined and how strong and resilient your partner is, okay? And the reason I say that is I have here the Wheel of Fortune. So this basically denotes to me uh, a long-standing relationship, somebody that we have had a lot of uh, a long history with. And because there's history, there's also that sense of loyalty. There's also that sense of like, okay, I know this person in, in and out. And I know that, you know, when times are rough, they behave like this. When times are good, they behave like this. So you have somebody that is quite steady and quite consistent through good times and bad times and because you know them so well and they themselves know you so well because you have had this long-standing history with them through thick and thin you know what they're capable of and in a way that can also reaffirm or reassure you that they're not going to leave that they're going to be around they're going to rough it out and they're not a quitter and because of that there is a profound sense of um I almost want to say like consistency about them that makes you really, really, really appreciate them and it makes you feel that you found the right person. I have as well the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands usually denotes to me some type of a long distance relationship. It's a relationship where one person is in the picture, but it denotes nevertheless, it's still a relationship. Um, some of you recently, you might have found yourself working really hard, having to manage a lot of responsibilities, possibly putting in overtime at work, possibly, you know, uh, juggling two jobs or even needing to, to um, juggle your main job as well as child rearing. So I see one person being very, very, very busy. And the other person is busy too, but not as busy as this other person. And so the time for those who are dating, the time for you to meet the person that you like, or for those of you in relationships, the time for you to spend together to, you know, talk about your day is being dramatically minimized. So I feel like work and career and finances, it's definitely a major cause of concern or it's interfering in your ability to connect with your partner, your ability to um, kind of, um, you know, at the end of the work day, right? If we had a work, uh, a rough day, we want to go home and um, kick up our feet and vent to our partner. But I feel like one person is not in the picture. I feel like time differences for those who are in long distance relationship. But I also feel like, you know, one person might work the morning shift and the other person might work the night shift. So there is an energy of being isolated from the relationship partner, not so much shut out, but I feel like isolated. And I feel like there is, there will be opportunity this uh, week for the two of you to bridge that communication gap, to overcome the timing issues and to be able to reconnect with each other. Because at the foundation of this, we have here the Ace of Cups. This is a really, I, I really like this deck and I hope you guys enjoy the depictions. Um, this basically signals to me that, you know, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of mutual reciprocity. And when one person is, um, you know, juggling two jobs or when times are rough, the other partner steps up and vice versa. When one person is sick, the other partner steps in as the caretaker. And then when one person is down, the other partner steps in as a cheerleader. So I see a lot of love, a lot of, um, it's like a really strong soulmate type of a connection between two people where they instinctively understand um, 
what the other person is coming going through and they instinctively know how to uplift the other person or they know that the other person needs help or needs assistance so they reach out so i don't see you know keeping scores i don't see like holding back affection i see a lot of this really quiet behind the scene type of love you have and and it's like it's a very dignified very loyal type of love that you have for another person and they vice versa have the same emotions for you it's very tender and it's very quiet and it boils down to the fact that the two of you you care about reciprocity here with the justice you want things to be balanced out you want things to be fair you don't um you know like you don't keep scores and you definitely don't um it's like you don't you you try not to you know uh, go to bed angry. So if there is a fight, you're gonna sit there and talk about it until the fight is resolved. No one's backing out. No one's retreating. No one's holding back affection, or no one is using you know affection and love as um as a bargaining tactic. So I feel like it's a very um, high spirited. With the hermit here, it's a very enlightened space that you both are finding yourself in. Um, if you are in a relationship, I just feel like your partner might be working a lot, and you know they come home, they're exhausted. So you might find yourself like having to do a lot of things on your own, or you know you want to plan date night, but you're not able to because they're they're working or they're busy, or whatever the situation might be. But I feel like a lot of busyness, so you find yourself a little bit more. Um, a little bit more like um, having to do do the grocery shopping on your own, you know, entertaining friends on your own, going out to the movies by yourself, and because of that, I just feel like you know the the energy for this week towards the end of the week is going to lift, and you're going to have this sense of abundance and reciprocity, this balancing act, where things are going to you know um, replenish itself, and I feel like the relationship deepens as a result of it. For those who are single, definitely make an effort to get out there because I feel like if you are single, you have been single for quite some time here with the hermit. You're out there looking. You see, you know, like you're you're walking around and like you see other couples, and a big part of you is really yearning for that partner, that person that completes you, or that person that you can, you know, stroll along the the boardwalk with, go window shopping with,、um, ride the Ferris wheel with, walk on the beach with. Like you want the romance, and I feel like some of you. At a point where you're not really settling for less, you just don't want anybody. You want that sense of reciprocity, and you want that great, big, grand love that can, you know, really see you through tough times. You want somebody that you can travel with. You want somebody who's on your equal wavelength, and you want somebody that you can have a lot of expansion, wisdom, and growth with. So this is a week where it's、um, for singles. It's like I'm not settling for less. I know what I want, and I'm trying to manifest it. I'm allowing it to come into the picture. So there's a sense of yearning, and I also would ad advise、uh, singles get out there to date. Okay,、uh, the sun is still in、uh, Virgo, which is a fellow air,、um, Earth sign. It's a fellow Earth sign, and so I feel like it, it jives really well with your energy. So try to get out there. You're gonna meet people who are a lot more stable. You're possibly going to meet people who are a little bit further from your geographical location. And I also feel like a lot of trips and a lot of fun, happy adventures can be had between the two of you. This Ace of Cups energy—it's、uh, so prominent in the reading that I feel like it uplifts everything else around it. And I feel. You know, there's a、um, either a new lease on love or a revival of a love relationship. If it has been tenuous, if one person has been really busy with work, there's a coming together in the relationship. Okay, um, it's really good energy for mutual understanding, and I I also feel like a lot of discussions. Will be had towards the end of the week. Okay, so it's like a new doorway opening up in your love life, and I feel like it's gonna make you feel really, really happy. Other areas of your life.、Um, this is a week for you to kind of go over your、um, accounts. Go over. I, I see a lot of shifting money back and forth between different bank accounts. Okay,、um, I have here the Five of Pentacles. 
and the four of pentacles the four of pentacles is what i normally think about like checking account okay it's there for us so that we can spend whereas the five of pentacles is more like the savings so some of you are going to be dipping into your savings and i feel like big ticket item purchases i don't see physical things i see more like intangible things so for example paying off a large credit card debt okay that's like a, a huge intangible thing it's a collection of things that you've accumulated but i feel like it, it goes off through the internet right so I, I don't see people buying frivolous things like getting a new car getting a big screen TV you're actually quite cautious with money but I see like you know having to use your savings account or having to transfer money to pay for some type of a big ticket thing or debt that you owe and then I also see buying books for many of you and I get the, the books energy heavily here with the four of Pentacles for some reason things that kind of weigh us down, things that are heavy, but they add to our enlightenment, they add to our knowledge, and they add to our ability to attain things such as, you know, uh, tuition even, paying off some, some big ticket item. And I feel like that's why you want to be a little bit cautious when it comes to spending. I see as well a lot of social engagement. A lot of social engagement and usually with the three of cups this is like going out socializing having fun meeting friends reconnecting with old friends as well uh, with the fool in the, and the three of cups this is like taking um, a chance at dating meeting a lot more new people going to celebrations and I feel like family related celebrations uh, where you have to buy big ticket items so like um, a birth of a child uh, baptism um, what are those um, like birthday birthday parties, uh, engagement parties, and things like that, where you're going to have to, you know, physically, um, you know, write somebody a check to congratulate them, buy something intangible for them, add to their wedding registry, whatever it is. I feel like that's where the money is going, or that's where the money is being spent as well. So don't go overboard, okay? Your presence is very welcomed. So I feel like, you know, that's enough for them. If you've hit some hard times, it's important for you to verbalize that but still be there and not feel like you need to you, like you're obligated to do anything extra um, because I feel like you know they want your presence there to celebrate this moment with them so don't you know end up with negatives in your checking or savings account on account of you know feeling that social pressure to buy an expensive gift okay and if you have to do it all through the month it's going to be very draining on your financial resources um, I'm also feeling as well, they're saying many of you are planning to save up. I'm hearing like uh, saving up in order to begin something bigger and greater. So this is a card about needing to maintain your not only your financial standing, but also retaining what you have. Don't spend so quickly and frivolously because you have some big things that are coming into the picture. For some of you, this is possibly a big housing move that you're waiting on, closing in on a house, like closing on a house, putting down down payment for a, an apartment, putting down a down payment for a house, putting down a down payment even for a car, um, something that is requiring a substantial amount of money that you're thinking about, you're, you're striving for, and you're trying to save up so you're being very, very thrifty and careful when it comes to your spending. And then others, I feel like, you know, a lot of social engagement. So if these are the things that you're anticipating for the next three months and, you know, Christmas and Thanksgiving and all of that is happening um, as well. So I feel like if those are the, the, the occasions that you're anticipating, I feel like you're starting to gather little gifts and trinkets here and there. And so it's going to be important for you to, you know, curb your spending a little bit. In the work front, um, in general, what I feel as well is um, there's a job that you're definitely clinging on to and you feel like it's not really, you know, living up to its potential. You feel like you want to make a move and you want to kind of like get out of Dodge. 
But in the meantime, it pays the bills. It's serving its purpose in your life, and they're really pushing you and advising you to branch out. And I feel like friends that can make recommendations for you, friends that can, you know, get your you like get your foot through the door. So reach out to your friends and kind of start networking and branching out and and kind of throwing it out there. Hey, I'm looking for a new job. I'm looking for a career change. I'm looking for something else to do because my job it pays the bills. But I'm not 100% invested in it. So, do you have somebody that you can connect me to? Are there organizations that are hiring? Is your company hiring? So, look around at your friends and see, you know, who's really happy with their job, and then just kind of toss it out there. You know, like, hey, you seem to be working at a really、um, A good place. You seem very happy about your job.、Um, do you know if they're hiring within the next three months? So I feel like there's going to be a major、uh, career change or a major job move or something you're contemplating. I also see some of you、um, reaching out. Okay, just just try to reach out. Um, to friends first, and see if they can make some recommendations to get your foot in the door. If they can review your resume, if they can as well, make some introductions and allow you to talk to some hiring personnel on the phone, and that's going to allow you an opportunity to kind of like start a new phase when it comes to your career. Okay, you have good things coming in,、um, Capricorn. So. The relationship is really thriving. It's it looks really good for this week, and for singles, it is especially good. Where you know you want to branch out a little bit and start dating, okay? And then other areas of your life, I feel like it's going to start stabilizing、uh, soon. But they're really telling you to you know take a leap of faith and go for it, apply for it. Even if you feel like、uh, I'm not really qualified for the job, just go for it and apply for it and wait it out, okay? So I hope the reading is helpful. I wish you all the best for this week. Okay, take care.